Hello everyone. Welcome to Professional Certifications Channel. Today, we're tackling an essential skill that every data enthusiast must know, data cleaning. Introduction Data cleaning, also known as data cleansing or data scrubbing, is the process of detecting and correcting, or removing, corrupt or inaccurate records from a dataset. This step is crucial in data analysis to ensure the accuracy and completeness of data before it is used in analytics, machine learning, or reporting. The goal is to improve data quality and reliability by eliminating errors and inconsistencies. Key Steps in Data Cleaning Data cleaning typically involves several steps, including 1. Removing duplicates, deleting repeated data entries. 2. Fixing structural errors, correcting mislabeled categories or inconsistent capitalization. 3. Handling missing data, filling in or deciding how to deal with missing values. 4. Validating accuracy, ensuring data conforms to the known set of rules or ranges. 5. Standardizing data, ensuring all data follows the same formats and units. 6. Filtering outliers, removing data points that are significantly different from other data points and which could be errors. Example of data cleaning Imagine a dataset containing patient information for a healthcare study, with columns for patient ID, age, gender, and diagnosis. Here's how data cleaning might be applied. Removing duplicates, if there are multiple entries for the same patient ID, these would be identified and removed or consolidated. Here's the table showing the data set before data cleaning. It includes multiple entries for the same patient ID. In this example, the patient IDs 101 and 102 have duplicate entries, which should be identified and either removed or consolidated during data cleaning. Fixing structural errors, suppose the gender is recorded as male, male, and M. These should be standardized to a single format, example, male. Here's a table illustrating the dataset with structural errors in the gender field. In this example, the gender data is inconsistent, with variations such as male, male, and M for male, and female, and female for female. These should be standardized to a single format, such as male, for all male entries and female, for all female entries, to eliminate structural errors. Handling missing data if some patients do not have an age listed, one could either remove these records, replace the missing values with the average age, or use a statistical method to impute these missing values based on other data in the dataset. Here's a table illustrating the dataset with missing age data. In this example, the patients with IDs 103 and 105 have missing age values, represented as NAN. To handle this missing data, one could Remove these records. Replace the missing values with the average age of the dataset, or use a more sophisticated statistical method to estimate the missing values based on other available data in the dataset. Validating accuracy, ensuring that all recorded ages are reasonable. Example, ages should typically be between 0 and 120. Any entries outside this range might be due to data entry errors and need to be corrected. Here's a table illustrating the data set with unreasonable age data. In this example, the ages for patients with IDs 102 and 105 are unreasonable 200 and 122 respectively suggesting possible data entry errors. The age of zero might also need verification depending on the context. Example, it could be valid for a newborn. To validate accuracy, these values should be reviewed and corrected if necessary to ensure they fall within a reasonable range, typically between 0 and 120 years. Standardizing data, making sure that all data entries adhere to the same format, such as ensuring all dates are in the format YYYYMMDD. Here's a table illustrating the dataset with non-standardized date formats. In this example, the visit dates are recorded in several different formats. April 1, 2023, Standard YYYYMMDD Format January 4, 2023, DDMM YYYY Format April 1, 2023, YYYY-MM-DD Format 
April 1, 2023. Full date spelled out. To standardize the data, it would be necessary to convert all dates to a single, consistent format, ideally YYYYMMDD, to facilitate easier processing and analysis. Filtering outliers. If one patient's age is recorded as 200, which is highly unlikely and could skew analysis results, this outlier might be removed or investigated further. Here's a table illustrating the data set with an outlier in the age data. In this example, the age of patient Bob, 200 years, is highly unusual and likely an error, making it an outlier. This outlier could significantly skew analysis results and should either be investigated to correct the error or removed from the dataset to maintain data integrity. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you found this video on data cleaning informative and useful. Remember, good data cleaning is the foundation of any reliable data analysis. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos.